Hey everyone, Adam Shaw here from Bravo Media Company. Today we've got another set of maps we're going to show you guys. We're going to show you our world map collection. It is a brief overview. I think we've got about four maps in store for you. That doesn't show our entire collection. It's going to show you kind of a brief presentation of it. But I think right now we have about, uh, I want to say about 40 different world maps that date back previous to 1922 and range all the way to the early 1500s. So that just gives you kind of an idea. So the map right in front of you is a world map from 1744. We're going to zoom in. We can see that not every continent is accurately, I would say, drawn. South America looks a bit augmented uh, considering it's 1744 and they're still kind of learning the layout of the world. We can see certain portions of North America are still undiscovered, uh, mostly the Alaska area. And if you look at California, it is a separate island from the rest of the United States, which I think is kind of interesting in this perspective. We can also see the text is not in English. It's in a Latin language. We can see Latin prefixes in many different areas. We see an equator with latitude and longitudes in this dual globe world map. We also see artwork around the side of the maps, which I think is great. And it really adds a nice frame to it. We can see Europe, obviously, not exactly as it looks in maps today, but it's augmented. And that's why we like these old maps is that we, we get a perspective of how people viewed the world back in 1744. All right, we're going to move on to the next map. A 1901 map of the world. As we can see, the United States is well-defined. We've got routes showing the miles. I believe that's meters or miles. I'm saying miles, yeah. Yeah, those, that's miles. Uh, showing, yeah, 3,000, showing the distance between uh, designations. I'm sorry, destinations. Uh, and we can see the different countries and the borders labeled. We even see ocean currents in many different areas. We also see the date line when the days turn over. So the new day starts right over here. So they're ahead of us right over here. And this is the line that defines it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool map. Very recent in terms of our historical maps. Uh, and that's another one. Let's move on to the next one. We've got a 1922 map of the world. And I like this map because... It shows us the different empires during 1922. The British Empire, and that's colored in that color. And it shows us the different areas they kind of had. Uh, Canada, obviously England, parts of Africa, India. An interesting map to see kind of where provinces were. United States, in that color. We can see Spanish, Japanese, certain territories. We also get a timeline. I don't, I don't think this is a timeline, actually. This just tells us the, I want to say population. Yeah, comparative population, comparative areas. So you can see the British Empire had a big chunk of the worldwide territories. Russia had a big chunk. French, United States, and got other countries. Pretty cool. Pretty cool map that we have. Moving on, we have a 1897 map of the world. I like this map because it is colored so eloquently. I just, it's very bold, and I just, I love how it looks. Uh, and as you can see, we can see the United States labeled right there. Florida isn't really defined right there. It's uh, kind of uh, 
misshapen, but interesting map. We've got Europe, looks pretty intact, parts of Africa. We see these are the ocean currents, and it tells us main equator current, uh, North Africa current, Gulf Stream. It gives us the different currents. And definitely labels all the different countries, rivers in the countries. Pretty cool. I love just how this map looks and it's colorful and vibrant. I really like that. And finally, we've got a vintage map of the world. Uh, this one was 1782 and is a very, uh, it's an older map that we have. Uh, Australia isn't really defined. Uh, sections of North America aren't defined as well. And I just lo I like the old globed, the dual globed hemisphere maps uh, because a lot of times they have artwork on the outside and uh, just how developed or the developing of cartography was with uh, these countries. So definitely a cool map that we have in our collection as well. So if you like world maps, you should definitely check out the rest of our YouTube channel because we explore a lot of cartography as well as historical topics. We look at old historical documents such as Ellis Island immigration records. We look at historical photographs of New York City. Uh, we even discuss interior design and historical decor. So if you like all those things, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We upload videos like this one and others all the time, and you won't be disappointed. Uh, if you have any questions about this video or you'd like to see uh, on more maps or different kinds of maps, definitely leave a comment uh, below, and we'll definitely address your requests. And definitely like this video, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.